What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Lecture Fan YouTube page. It's how we do it, YouTube channel, I mean. Um, I would be vlogging outside, but my landlord is mowing the yard right now and it's loud out there, so audio is super important. I've been really trying to focus on audio lately, so we're doing it right here, and I'm also doing it in front of these lights, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's Saturday. It's like 2 or 3 p.m. on a Saturday. I slept in until about 10 p.m. because I was out late last night on a date that went really well. And then um, I slept until 10 and then I streamed for about three or four hours. Well, not three or four, three. I streamed for three hours. Had a great stream, it was a good time, had fun. Um, then I just took a shower, trimmed my beard, did my hair, got dressed. Um, I've been charging batteries. So we're about to go. I think I'm finally gonna make it to Bighorn Canyon. I've been wanting to go to Bighorn Canyon for so long, like it's finally somewhat of a nice day out. Actually, let me check the weather. It's Saturday, April 29th, 2.45. I've also, I've been watching tons of documentaries on the Philippines because I'm going to the Philippines, baby. I always wanted to go there. No, actually, I haven't always wanted to go there. I only recently wanted to go there. Okay, yeah, so right now it's 56 degrees, 3% chance of precipitation, 40% humidity, 56 degrees. Gonna get down to 37 tonight, so it'll get down chilly. But, um, no, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, it's 56. It's cold, it's cold, but it's not raining. That's what I'm, that's what I'm really stoked about. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick vlog. I'm gonna start loading my stuff up, and then uh, we're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna get some food, and then we're off the Bighorn Canyon, baby, Bighorn Canyon, oh yeah. Just kidding, Bighorn Canyon, hell yeah, I can't wait. All right, folks, we're about to hit the road. I just got everything packed up, got a couple bottles of water. Got a big thing of coffee, got all my cameras, got batteries going. I think I'm gonna try to fly the drone here in Billings and burn one battery. That way I can charge that battery on the hour and a half drive down and I can get some extra drone, drone footage here. And I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, so I'm gonna just drive down to a park here that's, I can't do it at my house because I'm within one and a half miles of the airport, but I can drive a little bit further away from the airport and do it. Check you later. Okay, it's 3.20. <clears throat> I just got the Lillis Park. It's a cool little park. I've never been here. Um, I'm just gonna fly the drone up, drone a little bit. You know how I do. Um, gonna set up my GH4. I think I might even switch lenses and try that prime lens since I've never really tried the prime lens. So I think I'm gonna do that. And we'll go from there, I guess. I'm about to fly. I wanna fly and get go get some food and get on the road. It's gonna, but I got, I got time. I, I still, I, I still will get there way before sunset, and I think it'd be awesome to be at Bighorn Canyon for sunset. You know what I'm saying? Okay, just finished getting 17 minutes worth of drone footage and 22 minutes worth of 4K GH4 footage of me flying the drone. And now we're off to Pickle Barrel, let's do it. All right, I just made it to the Pickle Barrel finally. Also, uh, had to gas up, which cost 75 bucks. It's expensive to gas this truck up. Um, it's getting pretty late already, it's like four o'clock already, so. I'd like to get on the road, but at the same time, I looked at the billing sunset time. Billing sunset is 8.18 p.m., so, um, you know, I should still have perfect light when I get down there. Be, you know, it's always best to fly the drone and take pictures and video and stuff like near that time, so it's good, but let's let's do a uh, pickle bear. I love this place. Hello. Good. How are you? Can I do a uh, bobcat, please? Uh, half 
half bobcat and a half pepper steak. And can I get double cheese on both of those? Okay, whoo! Just got done eating at the pickle barrel. Had a pepper steak sandwich with extra cheese. Oh my gosh, it was out of this world. I feel so good. It's absolutely delicious, but unfortunately my camera died while I was in the pickle barrel. I was gonna, you know, try to get some little bit of time lapse of them making the sandwiches and stuff, but my camera died, so that's unfortunate. So we're off to Bighorn Canyon now. It's an hour and 50 minutes, so almost two hours. It's 4.23, which puts me there at 6.30, which is a little less than two hours before the sun sets, so that's perfect. Unless some, for some reason, like the place is closed after some time, which I highly doubt. I really hope not. That's not even the case. But also, I'm not going to do uh, my GoPro on the front of the truck until we get to like a half hour into the trip or so because I've already got this, that part of the, that drive on GoPro. So I could, I could either just quick throw that into this vlog, you know, um, or I could just skip it because it's elsewhere on my YouTube and I'm talking about it now, so you guys will know. And then when I do put the, the GoPro on here, probably a half hour or whatever, I'll you know, probably do another short vlog at that point, so peace. All right, what's up? We just let we just got to Hardin. We're just heading south out of Hardin, Montana. Um, I just pulled off to the side of the road here because I needed to take a little break and I wanted to put my GoPro on. Um, so I'm gonna turn the GoPro on, clip to the front of my truck, and get out of here. And then we're off to Bighorn Canyon. We're getting pretty close, probably another half hour, 45 minutes, I think, probably. But anyways, this is actually pretty cool out here. There's like horses around. Here, I'll show you. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's a little windy out here, but not bad, not bad. Cool, that's it. It's recording. Let's go. Let's do it. We're off to Bighorn Canyon. We made it somewhere. We made it to the Bighorn National Recreation Area. I don't know, it's kind of like a weird situation. I I thought there was like more gonna like be like a trail system around here maybe or something, but I think this is almost exclusively designed for boaters because if you don't have a boat, I don't think there's a whole lot to do around here. Like this this road is blocked off if you look over here. The road is blocked off. The, the sun is super duper bright. Holy cow. But I'm up here. I think it's cool. I am going to um, fly my drone, do at least one thing on my drone, and then I might fly over to the lake, which seemed like yeah, that was a cool place maybe to fly the drone too. Maybe get some of the other side of the dam because this is the very start of the Bighorn River right here, right after the... Um, right after the dam. The dam is just right over here. And then down here you see the the river as it goes away. Oh, that's like another little dam right there actually, it looks like. That's not the main dam though. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the drone out. Guess I'll set this up right here.
I don't know what, what went wrong, but somehow, for some reason, this camera, this camera turned off. I just got done flying the drone, I put the drone away, I'm gonna go up here and grab my other camera, that I, my GH5, or GH4 that's been up here recording, and then we're gonna go around to another part of the, part of the dam area, or part of the Bighorn Canyon Recreation Area, which is, um, up further, which is the actual lake and stuff, which I think is cool, cooler than this, even though this is totally cool, especially because I'm out here by myself. Woohoo! It's a little chilly. Alright, we're off. Wow, I made it guys, I made it. I made it to Bighorn Lake, I guess it's called. Check it out. There's the truck. Yeah, pretty sweet. I just was gonna come down here and kinda get my hands wet and wash my hands off a little bit. Oop. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. This is really, really cool. I mean, look at this. It's cool. So I guess I'm gonna go back up here. I just drove down to the launch to get my hands wet. I needed the washroom. Pretty cool cliffs. I'm gonna go up to the launch again and then I guess set up my other camera. Set my GH4 get recording. And we're gonna fly the drone. Oh wow, what's that out there? There's an animal, look. an animal over here that was crazy because I saw I swear it was like a beaver or something it was like kind of big maybe it was I don't know weird I don't think it'd be a beaver or maybe a muskrat or otter who knows but it was cool all right peace out boys check it out I'm back in the sun so I put my glasses back on but we're back up here kind of at the top of the boat launch I don't know if I want to fly my drone down here or kind of go go up higher even there's actually a lot of cool areas around here. I mean, this is, this is pretty sweet. This is really sweet. Look at this. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's, this is just cool as heck out here and it's super duper quiet. I'm the only one here. It's this beautiful spring day, spring evening. It's like, you know, 60 degrees it feels like out here. It might be, you know, 55, I don't know. This is awesome though. Super, super quiet, just really, really cool. I think this is as cool as a spot as any. I don't, just don't know where I'm gonna set up my, my camera, my GH4. Maybe I'll, no, maybe I'll go up top. Oh, it's so hard to decide. Maybe I'll just do both. I kind of want to set my GH4 up and do a time lapse of the sunset, but I don't know. Sun, sun's actually about to go down from where I'm standing. It's not gonna, it's not actually setting, it's just there's a mountain like, you know, whatever, half a mile away. I guess let me grab a, let me grab a couple of pics here just with my phone. Set this down. Alright, we're gonna go up top, let's go up higher. Yeah, this is just really cool. I just love being out here and up here. And it's just crazy that there's nobody here. Absolutely nobody here. Or around at all whatsoever. Birds flying and stuff, which is cool. All right, guys, we made it. We're up at the top now. Gonna grab this camera and we're gonna go over here and basically what I'm doing is grabbing my GH4. I'm gonna go set it up over here and point it this way and start it recording 4K video. And then I'm gonna fly my drone. I'm gonna try to leave this camera going, my GoPro's going. I might try to clip my GoPro to something else and get it pointed at the sunset. I, in fact, I'm going to. But yeah, I don't know. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure how far away to go because I've got this 50 millimeter prime lens on, which is a badass lens, but probably something like this is totally fine. This is about how far we are. So I don't know, I, I assume that, basically I assume that, you know, I'm gonna be showing this clip right here, me vlogging, and then I'm gonna cut to drone footage and 
footage from this GH4, so kind of give you guys an idea how far I am. I'm using the Olympus 50 millimeter prime f1.8 lens. Turns out I'm quite a bit, quite a bit of ways away further. I had to walk up here further. I just wanted a longer away shot. I don't know, it's, it's got a pretty cool background. It's got that, it's got that rocky red colored mountain in the background, which I think is cool. So I'm gonna go set up, um, I don't know. I'm gonna either set up this camera or my GoPro. Probably set up my GoPro facing the sun to catch the sunset. And then I don't know, use this one to kind of point at me close up while I'm finding the drone maybe. Either way, I'm gonna have four cameras going. Both times I've flown the drone, I've had four cameras going at one time, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna have to switch my GoPro battery, which is cool. And the reason I've got my truck still running is that I'm charging up another battery for my drone. So that's that. I'll probably set this like right here. We're just taking off. Um, it's like really not light down here. The sun has like gone over that mountain, so even though um, even though the sun hasn't officially set, because the, the sun sets at 8:18 and it's only 7:44, but where we're at, there's no light. So I'm gonna drive up here. There's another spot where I thought I think I could park and get some more video and pictures and fly the drone. I think battery is like on its last cell charge and it's three quarters of the way down almost all the way down so that's good I might get four flights and four drone flights in today that which would be awesome that's a lot of drone footage That'd be really cool. okay this is a really cool area folks I just um I just stopped off here we're way up top here now like above Bighorn Canyon Bighorn Canyon's that way it, you can kind of see it over there and it, it's a big canyon we're way up on top the highest part this is crow tribal land around here there's specific signs that say if, you, if you're not a member of the crow tribe you're not allowed to leave the paved road and there's no fencing out here or anything it's all just wide open land and what's interesting is i've seen at least two maybe three trucks just driving off into the on the land you know and so those must be crow tribal members and so that's crazy, they just have all of this land out here. Um, and they can just go on it if they're a member of the Crow Tribe, it's Crow Tribal land, so. Um, and you know, it's funny, like they know that, they know that <clears throat> nobody else can drive on the land. So they specifically probably take the opportunity, like, yeah, I'll drive off into the, here, off into the little field a little bit. Since I can and nobody else can, <laughs> wouldn't you? But this is great, the lighting out here is beautiful. Like the sun is about to set. The sun is about to set, there's really cool stuff. There's something right here, I don't know. It's like um, some kind of tourist in crow country. Yeah, it's the, this is like a tribute to the crow tribe, I guess. Look at it, I mean, this view over here in these mountains is absolutely amazing. I'm really loving this view. Okay, I'm super stoked right now because I've got like the perfect situation going. I've been kind of looking for a good spot to film and a good spot to get stop and get enough video to do time lapse and all that stuff. <clears throat> and I've been waiting for the sunset and stuff. And I finally came here 
and the sun's about to set and it looks beautiful. I've got the GoPro going on the sunset. I've got the GH4 going on me right now. I've got the drone flying and recording video, all of these things recording video, and my Canon in my hand recording video. I've got four, four things recording video right now, and I'm in the best position with the best lighting yet. How sweet is that? I'm so stoked, I'm so happy. This is perfect, it couldn't be any better. Whew. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna get back to find the drone, but I will, you know, kind of just set this camera up too. Why not? I'll just let it record just like every other camera. Okay, just kind of got some crazy footage with the GH4 and the sunset. Got done finding my drone. It's now 8.24, the sun's set. It's beautiful, it's great, it's cool out here. I've just been relaxing and videotaping all this stuff and had a great time. I'm headed home though, 8.24. I'm probably gonna eat the rest of this pickle barrel sandwich, which I'm really looking forward to. And then, yeah, I got a two hour, two hour drive home or so, hour and 50 minute drive home. You know, it won't be that bad, so. Um, that's maybe the end of the vlog. Let's do it again.